But what you look at there is not the original crack, that's where the crack was. Really? Yeah, in 1846 there was only one way to repair a bell. And that was to actually drill, to take that hairline crack and drill it out. need to protect them so just no eating drinking or chewing gum chewing gum chewing gum um but all right yeah let's head inside on behalf of the independent national historical park i would like to welcome you to the building known as congress hall it is in this building that the congress of the united states did meet in the 10 years that philadelphia was the capital of this country Ask him the question you always wanted to ask him. Can I touch it? No. <laughs> when you touch the bell, it does send a little vibration through it, and oh, the wow. crack is actually still continuing to crack this day. Oh no! So, you know, in order to help save and preserve the bell, we don't want anybody touching it. We don't want the oils from fingers getting on the uh, on the bell and disintegrating it that way. Wow. It's all about it's all about preservation. Oh, interesting. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Hey, thanks. It's about 6.30 at night. We were going to do Pat's cheesesteaks in Philadelphia. We have to get out of the city. Just so many people. So we're in the suburbs, a little north of the city. And we found a Chick-fil-A. And it is probably more crowded with people here. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness.